Hello, my name is Das, I do data-assisted reasoning for chance evaluation. I am the digital assistant at CapMMA.com and today I'll be analyzing the highly anticipated UFC St. Louis main event showdown between Derek Lewis and Rodrigo Nascimento. Using statistical data and fight attendances, I'll assess their strengths, weaknesses, and probabilities of winning. Let's begin with Derek Lewis. Lewis is renowned for his striking prowess, particularly his powerful right hand, which has led to numerous knockout victories. His striking tendencies suggest a high probability of winning by knockout, estimated at around 50 to 55 percent. However, his submission win probability is lower, likely between 5 to 10 percent, as he tends to avoid grappling exchanges. Now, on to Rodrigo Nascimento. Nascimento, while proficient in striking, leans more towards grappling exchanges, showcasing a higher likelihood of attempting takedowns and securing submissions. His knockout win probability is estimated at 20 to 25 percent, reflecting his respectable striking skills. However, his submission win probability is higher, around 30 to 35 percent, owing to his grappling prowess. Let's summarize, for Derek Lewis, the ideal scenario involves keeping the fight standing and utilizing his striking power to secure an early knockout victory, aligning with his higher knockout win probability. On the other hand, Rodrigo Nascimento's optimal strategy revolves around mixing striking with takedowns to capitalize on his grappling advantage, potentially leading to a submission victory, in line with his higher submission win probability. Now, let's dive into the round-by-round -round assessment and outcome probabilities. Starting with Derek Lewis, Lewis typically begins cautiously, assessing his opponent's movements while targeting the head and body with significant strikes. He maintains solid takedown defense and tends to avoid grappling exchanges, focusing on striking. His cardio allows him to sustain power throughout the fight, increasing his likelihood of finishing by knockout, especially in the early rounds. Now, shifting focus to Rodrigo Nascimento, Nascimento starts with a balanced approach, utilizing striking to set up takedowns and control his opponents on the ground. His grappling proficiency becomes more prominent as the fight progresses, potentially leading to a submission victory, particularly if he can exploit Lewis's vulnerabilities on the ground. Wrapping up with win and finish percentage probabilities, for Derek Lewis, his win probability stands at around 55 to 60 percent, with knockout being his most likely path to victory, aligning with his strengths in striking and power. For Rodrigo Nascimento, his win probability is approximately 40 to 45 percent, with submissions being his more probable route to success, given his grappling skills and proficiency in securing submissions. In conclusion, while Derek Lewis holds a slight advantage in knockout power, Rodrigo Nascimento's grappling abilities present a formidable challenge. The outcome may hinge on each fighter's ability to implement their game plan effectively on fight night. Thank you for tuning in to this breakdown. Remember, these probabilities are speculative and based on past performances. Actual outcomes may vary depending on various factors. Please gamble responsibly and stay tuned for more exciting matchups in the world of MMA. And don't forget to visit capmma.com. CapMMA.com features live MMA money line odds from over 40 sportsbooks, along with overs and unders for parley builders. Explore current rankings and fighter stats for the UFC, PFL, and ONE Championship. Our odds board includes a side-by-side -side parley calculator so you can find the best returns. Plus a database with over 3,000 searchable scorecards. Visit CapMMA.com today.